Hi everyone. So let's jump right into these hidden tricks. Number one is called corner actions. You can activate it under the settings, accessibility, interaction and dexterity, auto action after pointer stops, and switch on corner action. And inside, you can add an action of your choice to be triggered when your paired mouse pointer hits one of the tablet four corners. This works either with dex on or not. It is very useful. I have configured this to take a screenshot when touching the top right corner, to go to recent apps from the bottom right corner, to go home screen from the bottom left, and talk to Bixby from the upper corner. You can customize your own actions for each corner from the provided list. Number two is a new feature on the Samsung Notes app that you can activate under the Notes settings, Clipping Options. Once activated, when you're taking notes while browsing the web or scrolling through pictures from the gallery, Notes will automatically suggest for you to clip the web page address inside the note using this hint. You can just tap it and there you go. When also seeing photos from the gallery, the app page will suggest to attach the photo to the note. Consider it as an easy copy-paste predicted by the app. Next is a magic feature called Multi-Control. Check this out. This is the Galaxy Book 2 Pro running Windows 11. And this is the S8 Ultra running Android. Two completely different platforms. With this same Bluetooth mouse that is only paired to Windows, I can drag any file or photo from the laptop and drop it into the tablet. And the other way around, move any file from the tablet drag and drop it into the Galaxy Book. To use this neat feature, you need to activate multi-control on the laptop under the Samsung settings and advanced features. And the same feature on the tablet under the settings advanced features. Once activated, the laptop will automatically detect the tablet and you can rearrange the display's position. You can move your wireless mouse between both screens and even wake up the tablet by pushing the mouse through the edge of your laptop screen. The feature uses Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to work, so expect some small hiccups in the way. Other than that, this is an amazing feature. Well, we still have 5 nice features to go. At this stage of the video, if I helped you discover at least one feature you didn't know about, consider subscribing as I'm always digging for nice, useful and rare tricks. Number 4 is the Samsung Notes feature that allows you to use your phone as a drawing toolbar. Meaning, when you are writing or drawing on the Samsung Notes app, you can use your phone as a pen and color selector, along with other tools. Just select your pen and colors from the phone and use them on the tablet. I see this as a nice feature for digital artists in order to get more screen space on their tablet when drawing, without interference. To use this feature, you need to have either the Galaxy S22 or S21 Ultra with One UI 4.1 installed and head to the Notes app settings on the tablet and activate Use Phone as a Toolbar. Then when you open a Notes page, you'll get this phone icon on the top right, tap it and the toolbar will appear on your phone, even if it was locked. Next is one of my favorite features. This is a big tablet that can hold all of your family members' data. Well, Samsung thought of this and if you share your tablet with someone else, you can create two completely different user accounts on it. With different apps and different settings, different home screens and Google and Samsung accounts on each one. When you swipe down the notification panel, you can tap your profile picture option and switch to the second user. You'll see a completely different setup, so when you download apps or change settings on one user account, they will only appear there. Switch back to your account and you only get your stuff. To set this up, you need to head into the settings, accounts and backup, users, and activate it. Then you will find your existing account and you can add another user with which you will share the tablet. So if your family member wants to make a mess out of his online security, that's on him. But you can protect him along with yourself thanks to this video sponsor, NordPass Password Manager. Did you know that according to a 2021 security research, the top 200 most common passwords include 123456, QWERTY, password, and other easily crackable passwords. If you are in that stage or just want to avoid the cyber attacks all around us, NordPass, this video sponsor, got you covered. NordPass securely store your passwords and your sensitive informations all under one strong vault. 
beautifully designed modern vault that is accessible and synchronized across all of your devices, whether it's a tablet, laptop, or a phone. NordPass will help you generate new complex passwords for your accounts and run its password checker to detect security weaknesses, and even diagnose your email address for past security breaches. And I actually found that my data was leaked on a couple websites. Also, forget about remembering your different passwords thanks to the autofill function on Android, iOS, Windows, and macOS. It does not only work with passwords, but even on those boring online forms and your credit card data for secure shopping. You can download NordPass on any platform and get a huge 70% off your two years premium plan plus one month for free using the code TECHTICKING or following the link in the description. With 30 days money back guaranteed, well, you don't have any excuse now. Just go get it. Number six is pinning and inserting screenshots. This feature makes it much easier to share and use screenshots taken using the Smart Select feature. Once taken, you will have this pin insert option on the top, tap it to make the photo float around your screen and minimize it, then you can drop to paste that photo into the app of your choice. Whether you want to attach it into a Samsung Note, attach it to an email, or send it in a messaging app. The next feature allows you to unlock the tablet using your fingerprint without the need to turn on the display first. Usually when the tablet screen is off while you want to unlock it, you need to wake up the display to activate the fingerprint sensor and touch to unlock. But when you activate the fingerprint always on toggle under the settings, biometrics and security, fingerprints, you can unlock the tablet without the need to wake up the display. The fingerprint scanner will be always ready. Last but not least is the mini timer. On the clock app, you can set timers for whatever task you're doing. Then get a notification when the timer is up. Now you can continue seeing the timer running on a small floating window, so you can have a glance at the time left and quickly control it, while working on other stuff. You can activate the mini timer under the settings and show mini timer. So this was the video. Hope you found these features useful and I would like to know which feature you didn't know about in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.